How's it going everybody? Welcome back to Talking Wolves and welcome back today to a new transfer rumours video. So it's a transfer rumours video. This it looks like it could be Wolves' first permanent transfer of the window, but we'll talk about that a little bit more. It is going to be about uh, Leonardo Campana. Um, I, I realised I was pronouncing his name completely wrong in old videos. I think I was calling him Campania, but Leonardo Campana uh, from... Ecuadorian side Barcelona SC. So we're going to be talking about him in today's video. Um, I understand that he looks like he's going to be an under 23s player for the time being. So please, if you're coming here with your pitchforks saying we want a CDS sign in, not just yet, but I'm sure we'll get some in the next week or so. Before we kick off though, make sure you go and check out our channel partners over at One Football. Fantastic football out, uh, football app, sorry, to go and check out if you haven't already. A link to them will be in the top of the description down below. Football app to download on your phone, whether you're on Android or iOS, it's free to download. And you get all the updates on live football news, team news, team lineups, transfer rumours, all sorts. So yeah, definitely worth going to check out. And big thanks to them uh, for continuing to support the channel. So today's video is going to be about the 19-year-old striker, Leonardo Campana. Uh, as I said, he's coming in from uh, Ecuadorian side Barcelona SC. This was originally uh, reported on Christmas Eve, of course, of 2019. I think it was in the Ecuadorian media. And I've got to say, I think Talking Wolves are probably one of the first English Wolves sites, or what we were the first Wolves site to post that. Uh, so definitely, why if you don't follow us on social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, why not? Go and do it now. Links will be in the description. Um, and, and, and then it quickly went on from there, really. with a few more uh, reports on it. Uh, and then yesterday, just after the game against Manchester United, it was reported in Ecuador that it looks like Wolves were going to confirm this signing on this coming Monday. Let me check the date for Monday. That is Monday the 20th of January 2020. So, um... On the face of it, obviously, Campana is a striker. I think that's what Wolves need. We do need more firepower. And it's, it's been pretty heavily reported that Campana is going to come in and, for the time being, sit in the under-23s. I think the idea was uh, that Benny Ashley-Seal was going to get loaned out. I think the reason he probably hasn't been loaned out yet is due to this sign-in. Of course, Renat Dadashov, who was another sign-in from Wolves in the summer, has had his loan cancelled. Um, I think he was at Pacos de Ferreira. He's back at Wolves now, scored a couple of goals the other night for the under-23s. So I think if Wolves do give the thumbs up to Benny Ashley Seal to go out on loan, they're going to have Renat Dadishov and then possibly Campana, uh, Campana to come in and play as a rotation in the under-23s under as strikers. But I think this guy's long-term got the quality to probably sit in between the senior squad and the under-23s. Um, of course, very limited uh, information on YouTube, but it, it's sometimes the best source that we've got these days. But looking at a couple of clips of Campana, he looks like a good strike, uh, a good player with the hold-up of the play. Uh, I think he's six foot two, so he's got that little bit of height. But I noticed as well, he's got some great flair. And straight away off, on the face of it, he looks very similar or plays very similar to Raul Jimenez. And that's maybe what Wolves have gone for and what Wolves have looked at straight away. Some of his little flicks that he does, the way he can hold the ball up. Uh, and obviously, in addition to that, he's finishing and, and so on as well. I think he's, of course, a player that Wolves, you know, Wolves have seen the success of Raul Jimenez. Maybe that's the sort of thing that they, they are looking at. Now, the, the only slight hitch with this signing at the moment, of course, uh, he's already represented the Ecuador international team a number of times. I think it's four, four wraps altogether. Um, or four caps, rather, not apps. Um, he, I think the, the, the issue, I mean, Ecuador are a decent footballing nation. You know, they've, they've produced some decent plays in the past. Uh, but their issue is now, at the moment, uh, in South America, it's the pre-Olympic uh, championship qualifiers. So he's currently in the Olympic squad uh, for Ecuador to try and get them to qualify for the Olympic Games, obviously, in the summer. Uh, so the dates of that are between January the 18th and February the 1st, so he's going to be out of action for the next couple of weeks uh, at least. Uh, but it looks like he's going to be flying over to London um, over the next few days or so and confirming a move with Wolves, and it is set to be announced on Monday. Now, totally unsure of the fee of this transfer. Uh, to be honest, I posted on Talking Wolves that it was going to be about three quarters of a million, 750k, uh, but that was completely wrong uh, as far as I'm aware. I've looked back into it and that was due to poor translation on my part. So the 750k is he's going to be his 
yearly wage. Uh, it's reported that he's going to be earning about a million dollars a year, which roughly translates to just over 750k. So he's going to be getting in between about one and a half to two thousand pounds a week in terms of wage. But in terms of the actual fee of the transfer, I am totally unsure of, uh, to be honest. Um, but it looks like he's going to put uh, pen to paper. I think it's a three-year deal at Wolves. Uh, and as I say, looking at um, looking at he, him on YouTube, uh, as I say, very limited uh, source of information on there. He looks like a player who can hold up the ball, got a little bit of flair, that, that little degree of pace um, to run the channels and that little bit of quality in front of goal as well. And I think for the under-23s, a player of that sort of calibre um, is what we need. I, I know a lot of fans and a lot of people aren't, aren't too happy with the amount of rumours that are coming for under 18s or under 23s players. There's already been two pretty high profile under under 18 signings from Holland. Um, and I, I think it's great to be honest. Of course, I think people are frustrated because we're having rumours for the youth teams, but not for the first team. But I know the first team is going to be so much more internal. It's going to be so much more private. Um, any of the any of the bids or any of the conversations, which is going to make it difficult. Um, but I think I'm, I think it's great that the club are investing in the academy. Of course, we, we always love to see that young lad from Wolverhampton come up. But the fact that they're actually caring about long term. The club as a business as well is good. And I think Campana is a player. Uh, I saw people label him already the new Rafa Mare. Uh, but this guy is pretty highly rated from, from other sources, from places that watch the game and watch him play. You know, the fact that he's representing his country already at such a young age, I think he's going to be an extremely interesting player. I know at youth level he's pretty prolific as well. But for him to come into Wolves, uh, it'll be interesting. And uh, it'll be interesting to see... What sort of step up can he make? Is he de genuinely going to be an under 23s player? Is he going to be a player that Wolves can look at and think, right, we'll make a profit on him straight away? Or genuinely, are the club looking at this guy and thinking long term, he can push players in the first team as well? It'll be interesting to see if you guys have got any thoughts on this guy. If you've seen anything on him on YouTube, let me know in the comment section down below. Fingers crossed, we'll have some news on some first team signings as well in the next week or so. Wolves do need players. It's got about two weeks left of the transfer window and uh, I'm hoping that we, we do get some more rumours um, coming up very soon. But until next time, guys, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. And until next time, I'll see you all very, very soon.